afternoon from Universal Studios. It is basically our first time ever being here and we're here for the Orlando Informer event later today. But we figured we have some time to kill so we're gonna go ahead and do a round of mini golf. Yeah. Are you excited? Not really. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do mini golf but it's a cute theme so I am here for it. It's supposed to be science fiction. Yes. It's the Hollywood Drive-In Golf. So it'll be really fun to see the theming, even though I really don't play mini golf. So you're gonna win. <laughs> like I already know, so it's not a competition. Watch this is the first time she actually beats me. We'll see. Here is the course that we're gonna be going on. Oh, we're playing Monster Mash, I love it. Okay, so this is our first hole, where it begins. We got our own souvenir ones you got. Well here, pumpkin. I'll give it to you to hold so you can show it off. So she got, a little pumpkin. Yeah. And because it's me, uh, I got me. At least I'm in theme. Yeah. There's trivia. Of course, I had to see that trivia tricks during my show. But uh, so this one actually does have a trivia. Okay. Where it's how many whiff ghosts are haunting this home? Okay. Three actual ones on the post. So it'd be five. There's two. Yeah, there's two. So five. Five. So, you know, I, got fun. <laughs> I also have Now, hole two is grave danger. Be wary as you put ahead, you wouldn't want to wake the dead. <laughs> <laughs> You got the ball. <laughs> you might as well go. So, I like the tombstones. Yeah, I know you recorded my blunder. <laughs> so it's uh, Frankenstein. Various parts born. And that, that. Yeah. Like Rip mummy dearest. Werewolf. And it has the thing pointing down saying werewolf. So do you want to go first? You go first. You did better. Our game's already on pause because of this little gecko friend. I don't want to hit him. There seems to be some blockage in the, uh, on the hole. Team with a view is our third hole. Let's go. Down for the count. And we have a trivia question. The count direct can only be destroyed by what? Stakes. Number five is play dead, beloved pets. Though three feet deep, still disobey, bark, meow, and will not stay. Hey, you did it! We got number six, haunty python. <laughs> You're loving this way too much. Uh, let's see if I can get this holy grail. Major feature is says it's part two. This is also... <laughs> uh, trivia? Another trivia. Okay. How many swamp creeps are fucking loogies? Ew. Okay. See what they mean. They spit water. Oh. She's suffering right now because she's like right in the middle of the loogies that are gonna get shot. Did you get shot? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Right, now we have number eight website, which is really cute. I hope this doesn't have any tricks on it. If that works. the next one, Brutes of All Evil. And as you can see, it's a bunch of trees. I hope we can hear with the music blasting, but we got our trivia question. Oh, but this one's just for you. Okay. I did not mean for that to run, I'm sorry. This spooky tree, right over here. Oh, bats! Has how many bats? Oh, I got those up here! Track 11. 
then we have Limbo, which is where this giant tree is. All right, we got a little ghost. They look like Grimace from McDonald's. They look like Grimace from McDonald's. Got to number 13, and we have a round of golf. Not only that, we have a round of trivia. Oh, we got trivia, okay. How many whiff ghost eyes okay. are peering out of this hedgy hole? All right, I see one so far there. <laughs> oh, I love it. It barely moved. So on this hole, it looks like they're little ghost face faces. I know they're not, but they look like it. So that makes me happy instantly. So this is our whole fountain uncouth that we're gonna go into. You're cracking up over this. Did you see the name of the next one? It's called Trim Reaper instead of um, Grim Reaper. And you're dying over here. The hedges. I don't know. That's oh, I love it. Yeah, well, this one has a golf club. Whatever you do, don't mess up her balling. This one is our last bit of trivia. Okay. Probably on one of these five. What is it? Prickless Ocheus, I don't know, I'm not Latin or anything, uh, is the scientific name for which spooky plant that you see above? All right, it is Toxic Thorns. And this is a hole, by the way, the Green Gang house. The Green, Green Gang! Also, we found Audrey too, so, um, hi Audrey too, don't kill everyone. Welcome to Ghost and Dad, Green State, upstairs, last two holes away. So, put on in and have a ball. Might even leave it on. We're just for you and nowhere else. This is the ball. You sure? Yes. Alright. I think this is the last one. It's like we're going into Horror Nights. Yay! This one is the last one. Okay. <laughs> it's the avatar. Oh, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. Okay. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> so uh, now we lay you down to play one final hole to end your day. A lab of tubes and gears of light to turn the dark into the <laughs> So I guess. You're gonna hit it in here. You just gotta power up the Yep, you missed Harley. This is a cute way for them to take back the balls. What? Yours? Slowly going up the ceiling. <laughs> Into the contraption. <laughs> I normally haven't played mini golf forever, but I would do this again. I I feel like you won. On, on that. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't. We'll tally that, so up in a minute. Yeah. We'll let you know the results soon. Drum roll, please. So I did win. Yeah. Which but I figured. Was actually closer than you think. Okay. What was the difference? Uh, by six. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Wow. Not bad at that. I know that. Okay. And, and we got all of our trivia right. Yeah. That was a really good game. Yeah. I had fun. And we're just in time because we were able to head over and figure out how to check in for Orlando Informer now. A few moments later. You can hear all the noise behind us. We are in. We ended up jumping on to, um, ironically, Island of the Side. So, I've never been here at all. You see behind us, it's all Dr. Seuss. So, we're just trying to find our space and then we're able to get food in 15 minutes. Yeah, but for now, all of the places will go. All right, so we have our first meal of the night. Some pizza, a slider, and some pasta, some fruit. And then Adam over here got a burger, some wings, pizza, and some celery. The way they did it this year is 
This is like the bonus bite zone. So this is our main meal before the thing originally starts at eight o'clock. So this is like our lunch. But it's nice because it's like perfect enough for us to enjoy something as like a late lunch. Then we can go do some rides and actually explore. And then we'll be like a couple hours later, time for food again. Perfect. A rainstorm is supposed to start any second, we believe. We're gonna go try to head over and get in line for the train for Harry Potter so we can get over to Disney. Universal. <laughs> I came prepared, I came with my windbreaker. He didn't. Ooh, you can hear that thunder. <gasps> All right, we'll see how this goes. We made it inside for the queue. Was taped in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Florida. So, You're getting way too excited. excited. This is really that, cute, though. Not, not just because of Harry Potter, because I also love trains. So. Oh yeah, and you get to ride. This is like your first real Harry, first real Universal ride. Yes. Even on the trivia day, it still looks amazing. Almost like it's actually England. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Harry Potter, but I can appreciate this. This is actually really cool, and it does feel like super realistic. We made it to our next ride, which of course we can't film on either. Race through New York with Jimmy Fallon. And it's great because it's like we're back home. Kind of. Yeah. That was really fun. Oh my god. It was because this is our first time ever being on any of these rides. Yes. And I love it because like obviously there's so many references to New York because it takes place in New York. But I was like, I miss home. I miss it so much. Even though it's all CGI. Yeah. Still, give us that feel. Do you actually want basketball pumps? I do. <laughs> if you want actual pumps. Yeah, but they're cute too. <laughs> I actually like that. Well, I know that we're going to Diagon Alley, but you know, from New York to London town, that's going to take a while. <laughs> Not with the magic of theme parks. You're right. First impression of Diagon Alley. Love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> You got a little taste of Diagon Alley. A little taste, a little taste. Excellent. We just did a tour around, and we're gonna be back later tonight. Yes. Cause since it's the event, it'll be nice when it's less crowded. And then we'll be able to actually explore and do the rides over there. But until then, we're gonna carry on. We stopped into the Hello Kitty store to see what we had. Didn't realize that in the same section, they also have Deadpool. And they have a backpack with Deadpool riding a unicorn and I love it so much, but it's $82 and I'm not gonna buy this, but I want it. Not only that, but they have a purse of Deadpool with the chimichangas and I love it so much as well. And this one is $79. So literally a difference of like $4. That one was 82. 82. $3. $3. So now we're at the point in the night where the event is on so we can get whatever food we want. Yes. We're gonna go grab dinner over back at Islands of Adventure and explore that area. But we have one more ride we're gonna do over here in Universal and that's Men in Black. We just got off of Revenge of the Money. I'm so proud because yes. he doesn't do rides. That's so this is his I, I will not first, lie. yes. I did close my eyes at some point because of my uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud because I love rides, so I'm so happy that you're enjoying them too. Our food eating begins. We got churros. I love that you didn't grasp that these were all included. Like, like, <laughs> I know, like you reach out to pay for this wallet. I'm like, no, no, no. We get food as much as you want. So we're eating this as a snack, and we're gonna go get actual dinner. We, we did something before this. Yeah. I would have won. We did Men in Black. I'm confused. Wait, didn't we do something? Yeah. I would have won. Weren't we gonna go to the Men in Black ride? Yep. Enjoy your churro. We got our first dinner of the night. We ended up eating at three broomsticks because I do enjoy British food. So even though, again, not a Harry Potter fan, it's still up my alley. And you're just thriving. Yes, I am. So. <laughs> 
stuff, but I was looking at more. <laughs> so you got, we got shepherd's pie, and then you got the rib and uh, chicken combo. Yep, you got the same thing. And I got just the, I got the chicken without the ribs. Okay. Shepherd's pie, apple pie, and then we both got butter beater try. So we'll see how this goes. How is it? <laughs> so. This is my first time ever having butter beer. Mm. Okay, that's really good. I'm surprised. How is your food so far? All I've had so far is potatoes. It's really good. Okay. I'm probably gonna dig into everything else. Let me get a taste of um, the shepherd's pie as well. I know I had this the last before, but you can't go wrong with shepherd's pie. I don't get to eat it often, so I'm gonna enjoy it. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. We've been walking around, just exploring islands of adventure since we've never been here. And then when it came time to edit everything, I realized that we only filmed ourselves in food. And I've learned that we were so excited to explore Universal that I forgot to catch most of it on film. And we got to check out a little bit of Superhero Marvel Land. We're gonna focus on that more tomorrow because that's um, our jam. Yes. But we did see Captain America and Spidey. Yeah. And we got a picture. Pictures. We got pictures, so I'll put them in here. And that honestly like made my night. Yes. Yeah. I, did, I didn't think they were gonna have like any of the meet and greets, but happy that they were. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Especially since you jokingly say I'm captain a lot of times, and I always like Spidey, so. We made it back out to Universal Studios. We passed over islands to get to the exit, but we stopped to get some more butter beer, of course, first. Yes. Because this thing is actually super good. We're calling it an early night tonight, but we're gonna be back tomorrow. And we figured it's better to try to stuff everything into one night. So, um, we will see you guys tomorrow.